back with TSPN, and we have Terry Nielsen. Terry, how you doing Hello, today? Rich, how you doing? Good. And you have an event coming up uh, this Saturday, November third at two p.m. Defend Rural America. Is this sponsored by the Mother O.T. Party? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They've, I was going to uh, ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have uh, sponsored it, uh, and so they felt this is really important. We need to defend our rural communities. Mm -hmm. It seems to be all aspects of our community that are under pressure from our cattlemen to our ranchers to our forestry to our farmers to farmers to our people mm -hmm. who live in live in the sierras are all of these people confirmed that you have on the list uh, yes they have been con they are confirmed yes and can, let's talk about some of them i'll throw out all the names of sheriff greg hardwood from plumas county mark baird from siskiyou county mike albrecht Speaking on forest mismanagement, Joe Hardesty from Amateur County on mining rights, Eric Eisenhammer on the Coalition of uh, Energy Users and Cap and Trade, and Chuck Shea on regional governance from Nevada County. Correct. Yeah, Correct. and just as an example, we were talking about, um, was it uh, Cisco County that they're trying to take away the water they're from the farmers? The water rights away from the ranchers and the farmers, and, because, and if they find a dead fish in the water on their property huge fines, huge fines. yeah they're doing everything they can to run these people out of business well worse than that up there you can't oh, even go in and and weed eat on the sides of some of the banks it, it, because fishing games all over you now they want to take away their dams and their hydroelectric plants mm -hmm. and so these people are fighting for their lives right and um, the other big issue, one I see, is cap and trade. My brother-in-law is telling me about that, that his company, um, TXI Riverside Cement, mm -hmm. has to implement cap and trade now. Yeah. And he's saying it's just a nightmare because nobody really knows what they're doing. Yes, and California is the only state that's doing this. Yeah. Of and, course. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> gotta and love California. <laughs> and so uh, Eric's going to come and talk about this. This is going to be implemented next week. That's right. Wow. And that's what my brother-in-law said is they just brought on a new manager in this area. He's not from California, and he says, what did I get myself into? Ex exactly <laughs> right. They're, they're, they're going to drive all our industry out. Mm -hmm. Our uh, refineries aren't going to be able, they're going to be paying a lot more money for this. Right. And it's just going to, it's going to devastate California. Yeah. So, I mean, Terry, let's talk a little bit about the event. So, mm -hmm. it's coming up Saturday, November 3rd at 2 o'clock in Sutter Creek at the auditorium. Correct. Um, uh, people that want to show up, what can they expect? Well, it's, it's free to, to come into it. First, they're going to uh, have the experts talk. Okay. Then Kirk McKenzie is going to bring forth his plan on how to bring rural America together. Mm -hmm. This is happening all over the state right now. They've had an event down in Fresno. They had over 1,000 people there. Wow. Big turnout. Mm -hmm. San Bernardino had it, Stanislaus, San Joaquin, and now it's Amador's turn. He wants to get the entire state, all the rural counties together, to start fighting together. Mm -hmm. When the four-wheel drivers are out there trying to open the roads in the forest, that affects all of us. We all have needs for the forest. We need to have firefighting ability. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to hunt and fish in there, hunt and uh, rescue. This is all important to us, and we all should be standing with them. Yeah. And that's, this is basically what it's all about. Yeah, we just had our regional forester yes. in a couple of days ago. Yes. Uh, yesterday, I think, yeah. to um, to meet uh, and our um, our cops and our local forester mm -hmm. to talk about uh, access issues on the forest and the, the lawsuit that's going on. Mm -hmm. and it was yes. interesting talking to them, but if, if the forest service is being run basically by lawsuits in a lot of respects now. So, you know, you just don't have to roll over all the time. I know. And, and the, the another thing what this is entailing is trying to get the counties to understand that they have jurisdiction. Public safety is their responsibility. Mm -hmm. So when the forestry is unable to do something because of lawsuits, the counties need to step in and help yeah. because they're responsible. And this is part of the movement is to do this statewide. Yeah. And I want to give the Forest Service credit oh, for having yes. that hearing here, though, because yes, they're, they're trying. And I went to it, and I was very pleased with their... Uh, trying to open up the roads. We really need all our roads opened up. What, what is the, the regional governance part here by Nevada County uh, Chuck Shea resident? Well, there? he's an activist up in uh, Nevada County, and he's always trying to fight the, the rural, uh, the regional government, because that kind of takes government out of our hands. Mm -hmm. These are not necessarily uh, representative elected officials, and we like our government to be local, mm -hmm. and we like to be able to vote them in, vote them out. Right. Regional government, you don't have those choices. And this is the way California is going, and he's going to talk about that. So the event says that it's followed by Kirk uh, McKenzie. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, well, he comes in and 
brings forth his plan on how to uh, bring the state together. He was uh, the state coordinator for United We Stand America, the Ross Pro Group, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So he's very good at organiz organiz organizing things. Mm -hmm. His website is absolutely excellent. Defend Rural America, if you go to it, you'll really have to learn a lot on it. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you asking people to pre-register for this? Well, that, that is uh, so people can get on the, his email list because this is a network he's forming. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not really concerned with that. The people come in, they're going to sign up then. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, it just kind of gives him a feeling of how many people are coming. Sure, right. sure. So I'm not really push on that. Well, they can do that at the event. Yeah, absolutely guess, correct. So. Yes, yes. And it is free event. There will be a passing of the hat to help the, the, the costs, mm -hmm. but uh, I hope everybody comes. It's kind of important to our community. Should be a great event. Yes. Um, with that, we have to go to a break, so Thank we'll you. talk about it a little more when we come back, and we'll Thank be you. right back on TSPN. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.